Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today I I'm just gonna talk about this real quick. This is something that I recently noticed, which I am shook about surprised. Other fucking Trisha stands or people on the internet have noticed, and I'm the motherfucker to notice this shit. The fact that, um, well, the other day, um, so Trisha Paytas has these two viral like, horror movies that Trisha made years ago and left them on her their channel. Anyway, I, uh, I always like watching them like a bunch, especially whenever it gets to, you know, Halloween season. Towards Halloween season. And he, the other day, I was like, I went to Trisha's channel and I was looking for her, the first one. And then I'm looking at the playlist and I'm like, what the hell? Trisha deleted the first one. The second one's still up there. And I was really bummed about it. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, why did Trisha delete it? And I'm like, shook. And I'm like, what are you the fuck? Like, I'm like, Trisha, I want answers. Why did you delete it? It was, it was so good. I like fucked with it hardcore and I'm just bummed about it. And shit. And uh, yeah, and I'm also, yeah, I just wish Trisha was just. And then I, I'm also happy that Trisha is coming out with their sad boy launch on Friday. Mm hmm. But yeah, guys, comment below in the comments if you know why the hell Trisha deleted that video. Was it, was there some tea I missed about why Trisha deleted the first viral video? Like, <laughs> I'm really shook. About that, I still understand that shit. But um, you know, I'm glad Trish is still doing their thing, spending their coins, back to business. I think it's crazy the fact that there are a lot of people that, you know, Trisha has apologized for all the shit they've done in the past, and people want shit on Trisha, and then act like Trisha is about being sexually assaulted and shit, and people want to get on the whole let's hate Trisha Paytas bandwagon because H three Ethan Klein, that piece of shit fat ass, you know. Started that shit. Yeah. And you know, pretty soon, Ethan, Ethan Klein's gonna get called the fuck out. He, he's gonna get exposed, and then people are gonna flip on his ass and be like, oh, yeah. This is like something else I realized, you know. I joined uh, Shane Dawson, like, group on Facebook, and I posted a picture with Trisha and Shane, and, you know, I commented, I was like, guys, please don't be comment negative shit. And then all of them were on, on about it. I talk to Trisha and shit, <laughs> which I think is funny. But you guys, Shane Dawson threw Trisha under the bus for fucking money. Yeah, like he threw her under the bus to be friends with Jeffree Star. And you know, it's funny, people on the internet, all these Shane stands, they're so far up Shane's ass. It like, it like fucking blows, blows my mind. Yeah, it does. And I'm just like, you know, it, it reminds me why the fuck I left the Shane Dawson groups because his fans were toxic as fuck. Like, they all are all about being so far off Shane's ass. Not on the fact that what he did to Trisha was not fucking okay. The fact that his dumb fiance, you know, and him, like, they're so far off Jeffree Star's ass. And I'm gonna laugh when Jeffree Star fucks both of them over. Because Jeffree Star doesn't give a fuck about nobody. There's a reason why Jeffree Star doesn't fucking have friends. Yeah. And people, like, you know, and I fuck with Trisha because Trisha... They, they own their show and they fuck up. They show the good and bad of them. Where well, a lot of these fucking you influencers out there are fake as fuck. But Trisha owns their shit. Yeah. And you know, honestly, <laughs> I don't think Shane Dawson's going to come back. I really think his YouTube cha career is done. If Shane Dawson really wants to make fucking people happy, he'll, he'll reach out to Trisha and be like, yo... I'm sorry, my bad, but I honestly fucking doubt it because he's all about money and, and, and it's, it's disgusting. And it's also fucking disgusting that his fans, they don't see anything wrong with what he did to Trisha. And then they have a problem with the fact that Trisha calls Shane out and Rylan out. And it's just, it's bullshit. It really fucking pisses me off. And I don't, I'm debating about even leaving, I'm debating about fucking leaving those groups because... I recently started watching Shane's old conspiracy theories, and I was like, you know that that's that's why I fuck with Shane Dawson. But now I'm like, I don't fucking know because his fans <laughs> love him, you know, just want to hang on Trisha, and you know, and because I mean, Trisha done some. I'm a, I'm gonna tell you something. Shit, Shane Dawson did this past is way worse than any shit Trisha's ever done. Yeah, and the fact that Shane hasn't apologized for half the fucking shit he's done. Yeah. And the fact that people still think his apology was a bunch of bullshit, which I kind of do too, because he didn't, you know, 
So that's just my little video. Guys, comment below if you know why the hell Trisha Jelly did her first, their first viral video and piece. The first viral film, little short film they filmed years ago in peace. Mm -hmm.